Welcome to our next Lumen One Quick Start video. In this video, we'll talk about the different ways that you can support students with Lumen One. As you know, our goal is to eliminate race and income as predictors of student success. As we built Lumen One, we talked to a lot of students, and we always started in the same place. Tell me about your favorite class or the class where you learned the most. And almost every story had one thing in common, their professor. Specifically, the difference being having a professor who helped them feel seen, supported, and who made them truly feel like they could do it. So today, we're gonna talk about some of the tools that we built to help you do that, including our embedded messaging, the Lumen community, tools to add quiz attempts, and ways to review student learning data. You've probably seen this slide about the Lumen One student journey before. Today's video shows how you can support students throughout this journey. And students told us it's critical that this support feels credible, immediate, and affirming. In other words, they might be scared to ask for help, worrying that it reflects on them and their abilities. So we've tried to design these tools with those student mindsets in mind. But for now, let's get to know the home for these tools, your Faculty Engagement Center. As we've discussed before, your Faculty Engagement Center is an instructor-only resource that's part of your Lumen One course materials. When you brought your course materials into your learning management system, you have a link for the Faculty Engagement Center. And it's full of tools to drive your teaching and support students. One of those first tools we're gonna talk about are automated messages. Automated messages are messages that Lumen can send on your behalf. These messages rotate through multiple templates that you can edit. Students won't receive the same message back to back because the big idea is that we'll remove some of the lift of you sending these messages, but we wanna make sure that they feel credible and they feel authentic. And that's why one of the first things you're prompted to do when you log into the Engagement Center is to set up these automated messages. In this short video, we'll go into the Engagement Center. And on this first visit, you'll see that I'm prompted to set up messages. And it's pretty quick and easy. I simply select my name from the dropdown. I can modify my signature and save it. And that's it. If you wanna modify this, you can go to settings. You can see here that you're opted into sending automated messages and who's sending them. And you can actually see the different messages we'll send on your behalf. And you can click to modify the templates. You can change it to sound more like you or to include additional information. There are two types of automated messages that Lumen One can send on your behalf. The first are study tips. These messages are sent to students after their first quiz attempt. If they didn't meet mastery on the quiz and they've not completed at least 25% of the module self-checks, most of these messages focus on encouraging students to use the self-checks to practice. We can also send kudos. These are sent when students meet mastery on the quiz as many moments of celebration. Each of these messages is designed to encourage students, to help them feel seen, and to help them understand that with work and effort, they're gonna ace this course. You'll notice that there's a strong emphasis on growth mindset, on belief, and on confidence. And as I mentioned before, you can modify all these templates to reflect your voice. These kudos messages, in particular, we hear a lot about from students. They love getting that immediate feedback from their professor and feeling seen, even if they might be in a large section or an online course. You might be curious how many messages are going out. Inside your engagement center, there's a section called Student Outreach, which will always show you how many messages we've sent and allow you to see a history of who's been messaged and why. Studies in our own other Lumen One products have shown that students have an overall higher quiz average when these automated messages are enabled inside their course. Automated messages are not the only messages we can help you send. We can also help you send time-sensitive interventions. Time-sensitive interventions are not sent automatically. These are suggested messages that you'll see where you can decide if and when to send students a custom template. Just like our automated messages, there are templates you can build from that you can edit at any time. And if a student is recommended for intervention, 
That intervention message will disappear after you've messaged them, if it's been two weeks, or after they've taken their second quiz attempt. This way you always have an accurate view of how many students are recommended for intervention. Inside your engagement center, you'll see the recommended interventions on your homepage. Here you can see the student's name, their scores, and you can quickly click to email that student. Here you'll see two templates populate, one inviting them to office hours. You can see which outcomes they're struggling with, and you can modify and edit the messages before you send them out. Maybe, for example, you wanna narrow down this outcomes list to just a few outcomes you want that student to focus on. And these messages will always be sent using a student's preferred name. Back in the Engagement Center, if you have multiple interventions, you can dismiss one to see the others, or you can click View to see all the recommended interventions in your class at that time. Again, you can see the outcomes that a student is struggling with, and you can also keep track of all students who have struggled to understand why they were recommended for intervention and what happened after that intervention. It's important to know why a student might be recommended for an intervention. Time-sensitive interventions are focused on students who met, who did not meet mastery on the quiz, but they have completed at least 25% of the module self-checks. We call these students trying but struggling. They're in the course content, they're practicing, they're using the materials, but they still haven't quite yet met mastery on the quiz. And you'll notice that our templates are designed to invite them to office hours or to share additional resources. Finally, let's talk about the Lumen community. The Lumen community is an embedded community right inside your Lumen One course. Every student using our courseware has access to this course community. And students will see this community on content pages or they have a link right in their learning management system. In this video, you'll see that if I was on a page of learning content and I wasn't quite getting it or I was struggling to understand the big idea, I'll see a call out to visit the Lumen community right on the bottom of the page. There, I can see questions that have been posted, Lumen moderators have jumped in with a response, or I can post my own question. I even have an option to post this anonymously or to post it just for moderators. Students told us this was incredibly important. They wanted a way to ask for help, but they worried about looking like they weren't getting it in front of their peers or their professor, or they worried about it seeming like they weren't doing the work. So they really valued the idea of being able to ask for help, ask for help. And this community is moderated by Lumen, so the support they get is credible and happens quickly. But students can also get help from their peers or even provide help to another peer. The Lumen community is also a place where they can find resources, including resources posted in previous semesters. Finally, inside your engagement center, you'll see the option to add quiz attempts. You can find this going to settings and then assessments. Students always start with two attempts for the quiz, but sometimes they might lose one of those attempts because they left the quiz too early, accidentally close the tab, or maybe you just want to give them extra attempts on a particularly tough module. Inside this settings page, you can quickly click to add an attempt for any student. You simply click the plus and you can continue to add. All students have a baseline of two quiz attempts. Also inside your engagement center, there's a section called module highlights. Module highlights is where you can understand at a class level, how students are tracking against the key learning outcomes. There's a section for prerequisite outcomes and for the core learning outcomes in the module. For each outcome, you can see if students are proficient, if they need review, or if they haven't yet been assessed. This will allow you to analyze how your class is doing, see how many students are struggling, and even reach out to individual students for support. You might discover that a critical outcome, every student is struggling, which is an opportunity to bring it up in your next lecture or adjust your next class activity. Or maybe just one student is really struggling with a critical outcome and you wanna send additional resources. Module Highlights is a good guide to help you decide where to spend your time. So let's talk about how to make the most of these 
tools inside your faculty engagement center. First, take the time to turn on automated messaging. You'll notice we're gonna keep reminding you inside the engagement center until you do it, but it's just because we know that these messages make such a difference for students, in particular, those kudos messages. Once you've decided to take advantage of messaging, tailor those templates to save you time. Help them reflect your voice, but also make it sound more like what you might actually say to a student in an email, so you don't have to modify them each time. Set a reminder on your calendar to go to the engagement center on a regular basis, at least once a week. That way you can review student interventions and take a peek at your student data. And finally, if students need support or they're just looking for additional resources, you can always encourage them to use the Lumen community. For now, thank you for listening and thank you for teaching with Lumen One.